right, how's it going everyone? Out here at Stonebridge Golf Club, New Orleans today. Been a while since I've been here. Actually since 2021, since I've done an official Golf Nova review. So by any means, please, if you see that I haven't been to a golf course like I haven't been to Stonebridge or any other golf course in the Greater New Orleans area, please email info at golfnola.com and say, hey, it's time to check out this golf course. I've heard some uh, really good things about Stonebridge lately. Greens are good, uh, you know, tees, everything's looking good. They did verify the range today and uh, overseed it, so I don't know what to expect out on the golf course, but uh, I've also heard some negative things as well. So it's time to check it out and really see what's going on out here. So far, everything looks good. Put chipping green looks good. 18 green looks good. Number one tee, you know, so uh, expectations from just from what I'm seeing now, things should be good. It's uh, a little windy. I think it's about 18, 20 miles an hour steady, so it's gonna be a little challenging to score today, but that's not important. The key here is to go have fun, check out the conditions, and uh, let you know what they're like. So, all right, everyone, sitting here at 10T, uh, actually so disappointed. Uh, I've actually never had this feeling in my life before, except for like playing bad golf. But so disappointed in the conditions, I almost quit after nine. Decided not to. It's like, let's go check out, maybe the back nine will be better. Um, and then I get over here, about to tee off. Two guys just cut in front of me, they even looked at me by myself. And uh, they just looked at me and teed off in front of me, so that's kind of disappointing too. That's the kind of etiquette out here, uh, at least for some people. But uh, let's go check out the back nine and see if it's any better than the front. All right, so I am gonna quit. Uh, played the front nine an hour and a half. It just took me 40 minutes to play two holes because there are people that cut in front of me. And everything out here so far in these two holes is like just hitting off of dirt. It's damp, which I understand. It got some moisture, but there's no, virtually no grass on a lot of the fairways. Um, just very disappointed. The greens are actually okay. They're bumpy. They're kind of dormant, so they're rolling a little fast. Like there's no grass on them, but they're bumpy. 
uh, the best thing out here is, is the greens, and they're even not even really uh, what I consider great. You know, rated about a three, two and a half, three out of five. But uh, I just can't take it. For 50 bucks, this is not worth it. I have not seen a golf course this bad in a while, unless it was like for 15 bucks. So uh, I'm gonna have a lot more to say in the blog post. Sorry, I'm cutting this short and not uh, gonna finish the round, but um, I mean, again, I don't know if the pro shop approved these people that jumped in front of me or whatever, but you know, it'd take 40 minutes to play two holes after I played the front nine an hour and a half is just ridiculous. Plus the conditions, like I said, fairways are horrible. Uh, tee boxes are on level, St. Augustine grass everywhere, and you, you can't cut that down to fairway height, but they're trying to do that out here. So again, just very disappointed, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure and check out more in the blog post, and we'll see you next time.